the Glass Cannon Network. Hello out there, welcome back to Voyagers of the Jump. Um, in the spirit of, you know, certain events that transpired during the last episode, I want to begin with a friendly topic, and I want to ask everyone about the best or the worst date you've ever been on. Oh, no. <laughs> Skid, you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you know, I'm not really qualified to answer this question. I would direct you to my friend Nick Shelton's podcast, The Bad Dates Podcast, where oh. he talks about nothing but this and is probably defunct. It's probably been removed from all servers based on its content. Um, the best date that I've ever been on. Or the, the worst. worst date. The worst date. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I have a worst date. So... <laughs> It was also one of the first dates I ever had. And uh, the, the cousin of my friend who lived down the street uh, had a, a crush on me. And so I was kind of pressured into taking her out on a date. And uh, so I did. But I was afraid uh, because she was a, a, a woman. A, a, so, <laughs> so how, I was, how old were you? Uh, I was 28. So... <laughs> I was, uh, I don't know, I think I was 13. I think I was 13. Okay. So I, my, my friend, my best friend offered to like double date with me. He said like, yeah, like he kept talking about his awesome girlfriend that he had. It's just like, yeah, we'll both come with you. And like, well, you know, it'll be great. It'll take the pressure off. And it's like, great. And uh, of course the day came, uh, we met at the Tivoli Mall in, uh, in Denver and went to go see Silverado, uh, which we talked about many times on our shows. Probably too many times. And, uh, of course, Dante's, uh, my friend Dante's girlfriend didn't show up. I have a theory that she never existed at all, um, which she could have told me beforehand. So the three of us went out on this date together, and it was, oh, boy, it was terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, have I heard apologize to Becky. Becky, I apologize again. I apologized for about 10 years ago. <laughs> I, I was talking to my friend. I was like, would you please apologize to your cousin for me for that horrible date? She said she would. If you're, if you're what Becky, if you're watching, I apologize. <laughs> oh God. I have actually a rare, or like a pretty similar story that I had forgotten until you were telling me. I'll save mine. For, uh, okay. who, who else has a, you can also go best date ever. Best date ever. Could also be a thing. Nobody remembers the good dates. <laughs> <laughs> it's so yeah, true. Yeah, like I'm like best date ever. That, that's like if we feel like being nice, which is like rare. <laughs> I never feel, you know. <laughs> I, when, when Caitlin and I were first dating, she, oh, she might get mad at me for telling the story, but I, I, we were, she was like, you know what the, like my ideal date would be? And I was like, okay, this is like good intel. And I was like, okay. And I was like trying to like imagining what it was going to be. And I was like, oh, maybe it's just like a specific restaurant and then like a show because we're theater kids. And it was like maybe a show and like, or maybe like going to a specific like New York thing. And then she was like, s'mores at Kosi. And I was like, <laughs> that's your ideal date? Like done. <laughs> like, we can go now. <laughs> yeah. We did. Ideal? What? There's no better date that she could imagine than I hope having that s'mores I and was cozy. able to provide better dates in the past that. But yeah, she was really into that. Like remember they would like put, they would smear like the little bit of um like the little bit of like like sterno on, and then they would, they would like toast your marshmallow at a cozy. It was very strange. Wow. Oh, okay. Cute. I, honestly, I didn't know that cozy served anything other than squiggles. <laughs> That's the only thing that I knew for sure that they made. It's a squiggle. <laughs> it's hey, it's a square bagel. This is not your grandfather's bagel. It's round, a you drop squiggle? it, rolls away, it's gone. Square, you drop it, stays there, squiggle. I have that problem all the time. Thanks so much. I'm on my way to get a squiggle now. There you go. A squiggle? <laughs> not it's called conf- technology. They're not talking about this like it's a thing. Flagel. Alicia, I've never I've never heard of this. Flat bagel I've heard of. Flat bagel. Flagel I have heard of. 
like now, I've heard of. Do they do? I'm from New York City, so I'm sitting there going squiggle. Yeah, I don't know the <laughs> squiggle nonsense is. I don't know where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like blasphemy, but okay. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that. I would never no. eat that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's a stupid idea. I don't even know that they do it anymore. They probably did. They probably get made fun of so much that they stop. <laughs> Uh, my first, uh, I guess, real date, I was 16. Nicole, I really liked her. On the way there to a movie, I had a flat tire. I was 16. And um, the the spare didn't have any air in it. And uh, I also had never changed a tire before. Uh, so it was it included having to walk half a mile to the gas station to fill up your gas tank or to fill up your, your tire and then rolling it back, and then she changed the tire for me. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good that on her. That was nice of her. Wow. That was really yes. nice of her. Hey, her yeah. parents really well. She came out as a lesbian. Either that was my hint <laughs> by the changing of the tire or my fault. <laughs> no. uh, I, I don't. Oh, uh, no. Sorry, Sweet girl. <laughs> no. She knows how to fix a tire, though. <laughs> God, that's great. Yeah. That's, um, <laughs> if not for that one thing. Did you learn how to change like, one like that weekend? Could you go home and learn how to change one that weekend? <laughs> yeah, immediately. Uh, she taught me right there. Yeah. Like, oh. She was like, pay <laughs> attention. Yeah, hey. I'm going to show you this once. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't really want to share one because I'm really afraid no. that everybody viewing is going to think I'm like a dick and they're not going to want to like watch me in any more like, uh, like GCN games. Because, you're, okay, let's just, just, let's just, Boiler plate here. Young people can be jerks. We know that. It oh, yeah. takes That's life. True. It takes life experience and understanding to be able to empathize with your fellow humans. Young people tend to react. So you do things when you're younger that you look back upon and you say, Ugh, like, well, I hope I've grown and learned since then. Yeah, of so course. Younger Alicia was kind of a pain in the ass because I was bullied growing up, bullied relentlessly. So I, you know, some, I turned inward a little bit. So let's just put that out there right now. <clears throat> Understood. Great. Y'all, <laughs> age, tw- <laughs> age 20, and it all started off bad. I should have like known that age 20, I'm at the gym with my really good friend who was beautiful, guy, attractive, walks up to the two of us, chatting her up. I was like, yeah, girl, get yours. He asked her out. He called her that night. She was really excited to ask for my information. <laughs> Wow. Oh, that that should have been the red flag. And she's like, no, 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 go out with him, go out with him. Alicia at this age is like, are you kidding me? Alicia at 20 was like, well, if you don't care, I'll go out with him. See what I mean? Okay, so go out with him. He shows up in a Porsche. Number two, red flag. The whole, <laughs> we, he was going <laughs> to... He was going to bring me. He was like a, a year older, I think. He was going to bring us to New York City to like watch a St. John's basketball game at the Garden. It was oh, like, wow. uh, okay. yeah, it was so he was trying to like flex a little bit, which was nice. It was a nice thing. Um, the whole drive from my small town in Connecticut to New York City, he talked about like the fact that his dad was like this high level executive or something, provost or whatever at Yale. He talked about himself. He talked about how everyone in the, how he came up with this hand. But have, you know, people do this. Yes. Yeah. I guess. Yes. Yeah. He's claimed that he made it up and everyone in the world was following him. <laughs> Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll on the highway. Unlock the door. Tuck and roll. <laughs> I just sat wow. there like, wow. Mm, amazing. Cool. It gets worse. We get to the garden. We're about 40 minutes into the game because we got stuck in traffic. Understandable. We got like some goodies, pretzel, which I love. Some soda, got some mustard on it. We're walking and we had, we had to, you know, you have to, when you go in through the, the entryway, I don't know, in the garden and you have to go down the stairs to your seat. Well, the place was packed because it was a playoff game. So we were walking was into that, that little East tunnel. Was it the Big tournament? Was it the? Yeah, it was, it was one of the turn. I don't want to say when it was because what if like people learn and hear and they call them <laughs> up and say, yo, that girl was live on Twitch talking <laughs> junk about stuff that happened years ago. <laughs> anyway, okay. All right. So long time ago. But anyway, um, we're walking to that tunnel thing with our food and goodies and the place is packed. Everyone's screaming. We had to walk down that stone staircase to our steps. Now, I'm very observant because my hearing is ba- is very bad, right? So I tend to notice things are happening around me. He had our food. And for some reason, I was walking behind him. I noticed 
right at the top of the stairs, his foot sort of twisted a little bit. And my, I had the wherewithal to just turn my head. I just heard screams and bumps <laughs> and like little kids laughing <laughs> and like people going, oh my God. Oh. I just walked back through the tunnel. <laughs> you left. And I, you I just <laughs> turned and walked. You, I just didn't want to see. You the saw carnage. your moment to get out. Fair enough. <laughs> He's like, you left. He was like, look away. I walked back through there. And like a couple of, like, I don't know, a minute later, he came back. He had like mustard and stuff on him. It was like a mess. <laughs> he was limping. And some guy was like, are you okay? And he came up to me. He was like, where did you go? And I was like, what just happened to you? <laughs> Are you okay? What? I didn't know where you went. Like totally phony and ridiculous. I get it. I know. But like, he was like, you didn't just see what just happened. And I was like, no. What are you? Oh my God. What happened? But then we went and took our seats. And of course it was like some little kid that was sitting there in the end, like laughing his ass off at us. And I was like, this is not going to happen again. So yeah, that was a bad date for me. Wow. Cause 20 year old Elise was like, I'm so embarrassed. He fell down the stairs and almost killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That's oh a good, God. That's yeah. a great that's, bad date. That's a great bad yeah. date. I mean, yeah. uh, Bad for everyone. <laughs> Leader in the clubhouse. I'm sorry. I know. But uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. At least I you think... uh, I probably maybe got to see Malik Seeley play. Yeah. <laughs> But Silver don't say linings. what don't yes. say what players were there. We'll never right. know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I haven't Terrible. gone on many dates. I wasn't a huge dater. I didn't date many people and I like didn't want to for all of my pretty much young adult life. I just was like, I'm busy. I have no interest in this whatsoever. So I would constantly like reject people or do self-sabotage so that absolutely no one could ask me on a date. Like at a bar, someone would try to pick me up and I'd be like, I'm actually leaving the bar, thanks. And it's like 9 p.m. <laughs> and I had to leave the bar because I said I was. But uh, I did go on one Tinder date in my life, literally just one. And I was probably 18 or 19 and I had just moved to New York City made a Tinder and I was like, I'm living my life. Like I'm doing whatever I want. And of course on Tinder, I made my age again, y being young, being stupid. I made my age like 22 <laughs> or like 23, like just said, not. I was like, ah, whatever. And this very nice, attractive Australian man, uh, we started talking. We had a lot in common and I was like, yeah, like let's go on a date. And we went, we met at a bookstore, which is very cute and like fine. And it was a nice time. We were just like talking. And I think he was maybe 30. There was a large age gap at the time. <laughs> and, but he's very nice and he looked very young. And then he was like, let's, you know, go to a bar. Cause then it was like seven o'clock and I was not 21 and I did not have a fake ID. And I was like, yeah, let's go to a bar. So I brought him to the restaurant that I worked at so that I could get in and get drinks. And I didn't tell him. And we like went there and all the cocktail waitresses were like, hey. And I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't know me. You don't know me. And I was like, can we just like sit over here? And they were like, yeah. And Where's the bathrooms? Yeah. Can you <laughs> this place is so nice. Hi, uh, you don't know me. But uh, we had like a fine date like it was fine there was nothing wrong and we left and he like kissed me goodbye at the subway and i it was like all perfect on, on paper like everything was so nice and i never talked to him again like he tried to text me <laughs> he oh, tried no. to call me but i felt so weird about lying about my age and then we had already gone on a date and i was like i can't walk that one back i can't be like <laughs> actually uh let me tell you who i really am so I never talked to him again, <laughs> but funny enough, years later, he accidentally texted me because he thought I was a different Sydney who he knew. And we oh. like talked again and we like caught up and it was really funny. And we ended up following each other on Instagram. And now we're just like buds. Oh. We went on one date. And for some reason in both our minds, we're like, we're friends. We're absolutely friends. Oh. So every so often we like, we're like, oh, great. He's a photographer. And I'll just like comment on something and be like, oh, great job. And then he'll like comment on my stuff and be like, Oh, so glad you're doing well. And I'm like, we don't know each other. We don't know each other. <laughs> but it was a uh, bad, bad date turned good date turned 
uh, lifelong internet pal, I guess. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What a heartwarming you, ending. It, yeah. is a, it is a very heartwarming ending. Do you feel, do you however feel the need now to like make sure you never mention any age related anything on Instagram just in case he'll find <laughs> out the truth and do the, like, do the math? My thing yeah, is, you're is still like, keeping the lie going. No, <laughs> my thing is, is like, you must never know. There's no way he didn't know at the time. Like, if he was 28, mm. 29, 30, like, you look at it, 18 year old, 19 year old person, and you're like, you're very young. I think I was mature, and I think he was having a nice time, but I think he knew, like, you're, you're not. A kid. Yeah, like, you're not you're a kid. for me. So it was, it was mm. good. It, we were never going to work out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a story that's very similar to Skids where I was in high school and a friend of mine was dating a girl from another town and he was like, come out on this double date with me. And I, he's like, you'll meet her friend. You'll really like her. And I didn't go out on dates. Like I was, that was not, that was not my thing. Uh, also like tragic in many ways. Uh, um, how old were you? Oh, seven. I was 17 because I could drive. Um, okay. And we, and it, unbeknownst to me, I guess the same offer had been made to another friend of ours and we had both <gasps> been like, cool. And then both came like, like we, Oh no. And I don't, I think there was like a community, like a community alliance had gotten crossed with my friend who had been at the center of the hub. Anyway. So there was like, now we had, a, now we had, we had like, there was a double date and a fifth wheel and nobody knew who the fifth <laughs> wheel was. <laughs> she so had a had choice. Like two fifth <laughs> wheels. <laughs> You're oh. both reaching for her hand in the popcorn and you touch each other's hands and you're yeah, like, right. stop. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's Dude. just like sets, like you had a spare. It's just like <laughs> Seth's story. <laughs> just in really, case. If, what, if one of us had gone down, the other one could have finished. The, the other one could have filled in. <laughs> Hopefully the air hadn't been let out of the other one. So who did she choose, Matthew? Yeah. Neither of us. Oh. oh. <laughs> Rough. No one well, got the rose. Yeah. I mean, that was the thing. Like, it was abundantly clear to me that like when, once we all sat down for dinner, that neither of, like, neither of us, me and my friend, and the and the person we were one of us was supposed to be on a date with actually had anything in common. Like so, we were all kind of, it was just like a terrible conversation. As like the people who were dating were like, so how do you like? Uh, it, was, it feels uh, like such a a movie trope to be like, let's go on the double date. Like my my girlfriend's friend, you know, is like great for you, and it's always mm -hmm. not the case. And it's like, why would you even set this up? We have nothing in common. But I guess yeah. that happens literally all the time because people want to go out with their friends too. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that my, so my friend was like, his girlfriend was like, well, I want to meet more of your friends. And also uh. like if, if, and you want to meet more of my friends. And so we can find a way to merge the friend groups. Then like we can hang out with our oh. friends and each other at the same time. And then, you know, it didn't, didn't end up happening. I think some of the best dates I've been on have been double dates with friends though. Like more casual double dates have been more the more fun dates because we end up going to like board game cafes and stuff, which is less stressful than going to a bar for me, at least. Yeah. Yes. But then what if you're bad at the game? That would we be have, there. I play with people who it's like, if we're not all into the game, we switch it. Just get a new game. Like if everybody's That's not nice. on board, yeah, just change it mm -hmm. up. I don't know. We're not sticklers. <laughs> well, speaking of being a stickler and games and bad dates... No. Segway. No. <laughs> Last week, <laughs> crew the Kate's Gambit. As you, you all you know you know them, you love them, here they are. Um, among other things, they ate lots of pudding. Quite a bit of pudding, apparently, which is a, 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 a Imperial Navy tradition. Uh, going back <laughs> decades. Uh, well, on board uh, the ISS Ellison, they began to investigate just what might be happening. And they learned that the previous captain, Captain Montgomery, had been killed in an accident in engineering. A young member of the crew, Crewman Hempt, had been assisting Lieutenant Damon, the chief engineer, on a level one diagnostic of the jump drive that they were conducting after the misjump. However, Crewman Hempt, in her overzealousness and uh, tried to, you know, trying to help out, recycled the fuel tanks while Lieutenant Damon was in a Jeffries tube beneath the drive. Pressure from that action blew up on several panels, knocking Lieutenant Damon unconscious and flooding the tube with fuel. And the captain bravely rushed in to save Lieutenant Damon, but was killed when he inhaled too much of the fuel, sacrificing himself for his officer. Uh, then Gigi spent some time with the acting captain, Lieutenant Commander Yang, and learned that she'd only recently come aboard, and prior to this she'd been involved with the design of the ship and the design of the ship's mission. And then meanwhile, Puffer pursued a theory that the ship was caught in a time dilation phenomenon and worked with Lieutenant Volman, the tactical officer, to send out probes with a radioactive isotope applied to the hull in order to assay the passage of time relative to location. 
Uh, but all that signs awesome. came back normal. Uh, and then meanwhile, 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 Artemis <laughs> found herself in a flirtation with the now recovered Lieutenant Damon. Uh, and he invited her out on what felt like a date. Did it, I mean, did it feel like a date? Uh, it, it felt it like a date. It felt like a date. It felt like it a sure date. It sure seemed like a date to me. By the end yeah. of it, it seemed like it was a date. And sorry, Lieutenant Damon, and his name was Arturo? Arturo. Arturo. Uh, he's the chief engineer and the third officer, actually. Um, oh. Yeah, so you guys, uh, you know, you went down to the galley, and when the lieutenant was making you his special coffee, uh, Artemis encountered two crew members, Collis and Drax, and both of whom seemed very suspicious of her. And she guessed that they might be the people on board who uh, knew how to get things, if you catch my drift. But she and Damon went aft, Lieutenant Damon went aft to the one of the many missile bays on board, and he opened up the port and showed her this beautiful view of the stars. And as they gazed out at the starscape before them, Artemis noticed that the stars seemed to kind of, kind of judder, and then revert back to normal. But before we get to that, the one thing we didn't get to see last week is that Philo <laughs> wanted to seek out the astrogator and second officer of Yells and Lieutenant Commander Wilkes, who's been very, very distrustful of them since the beginning. Uh, and he wants to meet him for an after hours drink. Was that the plan? Yeah. Like, all yeah. right. So how do you go about how do you go? Well, let's start there and then catch up to whatever is going on with Artemis. OK, I want to track this person down. I want to track Wilkes down. I want this to seem as casual as possible. I want to fly casual. Fly casual. I would keep my distance, but not look like I'm keeping my distance. I want to find him and I want to, so I have my, this is a, maybe a little bit of a retcon here. I, I want to say that I have uh, a little, like a, a vest pocket bottle of very nice earth bourbon. Like on me, okay. Uh, that uh, cool, I cool use for five. yeah, like a Basil Hayden's or something. <laughs> I'm keeping it for emergencies, <laughs> so just like this one. So I want to offer a little bit of this bourbon to to uh, the guy. All right. Yeah. So maybe you like are like passing by the bridge when you you know when the sh the like the watch is changing and yeah. uh, he kind of comes out of the off he he steps out of the bridge and he's just like you can tell he's like had a kind of a bad day. It seems like he's one of those guys who always has a bad day, but he, he looks like he's having a bad day. Yeah. And he kind of just like walks by, he notices you there, and he just kind of like, he just keeps walking. Uh, so I, 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 I sort of like nod as I'm passing, just acknowledging him. And then I like spin on my heel, and it's just like, it's uh, Commander Wilkes, isn't it? And he looks back and he's like, uh, yes. So, yes. Uh, yeah, you look like you've uh, had a terrible day. Yeah, I haven't. All right, thanks. And he start, he starts to turn to go. Listen, um, sorry, I don't, I don't want to impose myself. Uh, I'm just sort of, uh, I'm out of sorts. I don't know anyone on the crew here, and I'm just trying to get my bearings. And uh, I, I just, I'd like to get to know some of you. Do, do, do you like bourbon? Roll. What can, what can what can we have you roll here? I mean, it's not to persuade, but it's charm. Can you roll charm? Uh, I could. I, or carouse. Okay, roll. Carouse. Yeah, roll, roll, okay. roll. Yeah, roll carouse to see if he's interested. Because I want to. Well, again, you're gonna have to kind of earn his trust. But let's see if you okay. can get him to have the drink. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Eleven. Okay. He's like Earth Birdman? All right. Hey. Come on, I know a place. Right. Uh, and he takes you down. Uh, let's see, I'm going back to my, my, my beloved deck, my deck plan here. <laughs> and he takes you up to, up to the officer's quarters. He, he's like, just, we'll, we'll just go to my quarters. We'll go to my quarters. What deck um, is that? Wow, this deck's deck, moving quick. Deck three, yeah, right. This date is Wait. progressing. Fast. Yeah, I know. This is the going date really is going well. So much better than mine. I, I was <laughs> like, how many, how many romantic getaways are on this ship? <laughs> I we'll go to the hot tub room. It's got to carry bourbon. Just have to I mean, carry bourbon. The sauna. Oh, oh. oh, let's go to cold storage. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, so he's like, this, it's easier. It's just, let's just go in here. I got a table. I'm like, I got, yeah, so he, he opens it. He, got, he, open, he goes, you, you take ice. I can get ice ice from the, uh, the ward room if you need it. Oh, yeah, if you've got ice, yes, that'd be, that'd be lovely. So he runs and gets some ice, and then he comes, guides you back. Uh, deck three, by the way, uh, okay. which is a, fl- a deck up from the bridge. Uh, and also, it's the same deck as uh, the ward room. So the ward room and the officer's quarters are on the same deck. Um, yeah, so he and he, he pulls you, he, you sit down. Um, his, his quarters are, uh, are full of uh, work, a lot of pa- like not paperwork, but like he's got, he, like clearly he's a kind of work hard, work hard, work hard kind of guy. Uh, he's just al- always working and, but there's a bunch of just like kind of like, he's not very organized. It's all kind of, everything's kind of everywhere. Um, and he like kind of lifts off a stack of, uh, of data pads and, and schematics and he puts them, he throws them on the bunk and then he clears off the table for you. And he's like, uh, I got glasses around here somewhere. Oh, you, okay, oh yeah. And he reaches under, reaches under, uh, under, underneath the cabinet, he pulls out two, two tumblers and he sets them down. Okay, cool. So I pull out this beautiful bottle of bourbon from my coat and I start pouring it. So this, uh, this is a bottle of Basil, Basil Hayden's uh, 1085 <laughs> Imperial Year bourbon. What year does it say on the label? What, you, are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it's, like, it's, it's marked with 1085. Oh, it's, okay. No, I'm saying you're you're saying it should be marked with 1085. That's what when I put it in there, when I bought it, it was 20 year bourbon. It was it was 1085. When I pull so, it out, we're so, okay. Yeah. So actually, it it is it is corrected when you look it out. It's referred to be 73 73 years prior to that. So okay. 10, so 10 13 or 10 12. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's like, that's weird. All right. So I pour out uh, some <laughs> bourbon for us. And uh, it's just, um, yeah, I just want to start. I guess I don't have enough to like drink him under the table, but I, I, I definitely want to get him tipsy. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, how, so how do you get how do you get him like what do you, how do you get him talking? It's just like uh, yes, you're a fan of bourbon as well. Is this genuine? Is this genuine earth bourbon? Oh yes, yes, yes. My father sent it to me. Your father? Yes. How did he get it? Uh, he has his he has his ways. I grew up with this. It's my family label. <laughs> you pour. <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah, I pour pour a couple of, of nice tumblers. And he takes one and he takes a sip. He's like, oh, it's been too long since I, I've tasted that. All right, yeah, yeah. Give me. Uh, well, I'm off duty. Yeah. I want to have. Let's have another. I just keep. I just let it flow. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll carouse, and okay. then let's play out. Let's play out what, how you roll. We'll do it that way. Okay. Three drinks later, you're gonna be wearing that white dress just like Marion. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, I at the twelve. Okay. <laughs> this was gonna be a difficult check. You rolled. You rolled. You surpassed that. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you get a, you get a few drinks in. You get them drunk. What do you want to know? What, what do you want to hear from? Uh, so I'm, I tell him, I start loosening him up. I start telling him about my best friend who is a, an elevated dolphin, uh, back on the moon. Sure. And, uh, he's so, like, do you ever, do you ever spend time with dolphins that talk about, talk about heavy drinkers? I mean, they, they, he can hold his liquor better than any biped I've ever met. Like they, they, they love this stuff. They I I can't say I have. Dolphins. So on, he, does he walk around? Like, what does he? How do you say <laughs> elevated? But does he? They've got those special suits. They've got the suits. Oh, they like yeah. float in them, and they've got little arms, <laughs> and it's it's adorable. It's just you should see it. I, to dolphins. To dolphins. To elevated dolphin. Dolphins elevated and otherwise. <laughs> we'll always toast to dolphins. Always toast to dolphins. Oh, yeah. So, God. you sorry. You go. You go. You go. I I noticed that you, there seemed to be uh, again. I don't want to overstep my bounds, but it seems like you have a bit of tension between you and the the new captain. I'm just wondering. Oh. 
You said you were in. You said you were in the navy, right? Before yeah. whatever it is you do now. I don't trust you, by the way. I don't trust you fully. No, but. I wouldn't trust me either. You know who does trust me? <laughs> That's his name, the dolphin. <laughs> That's the dolphin. Got Mostly, it. he insists people call him Craig because he says that's the closest name in the people can, you know, say. Craig. Well, I say. <laughs> right, okay, so it's like. <laughs> it's very hard. Back of the throat. It's very hard because we don't have blowholes. You see, they do. So it's very hard to sort of emulate the way they say things. But you could just say Craig. Did you know that they caught that the do, the dolphin the front of the dolphin's head is called the melon? I he, I did not know that. You learn it's funny. You you're friends with dolphins for years. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Yeah. Mel, I mean, it's it's. Listen, Captain Montgomery, he was. Uh, he was kind of my mentor. He guided me. He, uh, he, I followed him around from ship to ship, from assignment to assignment. It's. We were close. He taught me a lot. I, um, he actually, uh, not too long before he died, he, uh, he sat me down and he basically said that I was, if I wanted to, uh, you know, I, I was, I was, I was squandering my career is what he told me. I, I will, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I work hard. I take my work very seriously. I, you know, I, I take my, my responsibilities to the crew very seriously, but I, I don't have, I didn't never had the ambition to be some admiral. That's just not. I don't have that in me. And uh, the captain said I was kind of letting my career pass me by. And I, uh, I, if I wanted to actually make something of myself, I needed to put myself out there. And, you know, at the time we had an XO and then the XO had to go and we had to get, we got, and I, put my, I submitted myself as a replacement. I thought, okay, this is, this is what the captain was trying to tell me. Um, but then uh, apparently it had already been, been filled by the, the brass and, uh, so, you know, I'm older than Lieutenant, than Captain Yang, and um, I'm older than her. I've been in the Navy longer than her, but, uh, you know, she's the XO, so the captain goes down, and, you know, I'm still second officer. Isn't that the way? So, so you, you didn't move up. You didn't get bumped up to first officer even after Montgomery's death. Reg's state, you know, there, Yang, she did it by the book. The captain, she did it by the book. You know, she reported it. Obviously, we got to wait for the transmission to go through, but presumably they're going to send a new captain. And, you know, this ship is too, the mission is too important to be trusted to a relatively junior officer like me or her. So, you know. Well, understood. Who, who's the current first officer? Who's the acting first officer? I get me, I guess. I mean, it well, was you me. Are. It was, I, oh. I was acting as first officer when, you know, when, when, before Yang got here. Right? Who's, who does the crew come to? Not her. They come to me. You know, I know, I know. I bet, I bet, I bet. I know everything that's going on in the ship, and I bet she barely knows anything. Like what? What's going on in the ship? Like, what's an example of something? Like she, she's clueless about it. You're, you're oh, like you know, just like it. not like everything from supply levels to the, you know, the what's broken, what's working, what needs to like interpersonal stuff, right? Like, you know, Chief Notso, I remember Chief Nizan. I, 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 I don't doubt she knows as much as I do, if not more. But like, they need an officer. When they need an officer, they come to me. And uh, well, you mean, <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be telling you this, but like. Between you and me and the the Earth Bourbon here, uh, you know, you yeah, I maybe you picked up on the vibes, but uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Damon, you are chief engineer. You you know him, yeah, Arturo. Yes. Oh, you you know him well. Maybe yes. you know this named after his uncle. Wow. Oh, yeah. I guess you guys uh, you got to have to talk to him. I don't know. He's yes, I, so much I eavesdropped on some very personal <laughs> conversations with him. How dare you? <laughs> well, <laughs> we determined earlier we do have those little earpieces at the very opening scene. At that very moment, Artemis says, stop <laughs> listening, and she goes offline. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just play along. Well, Damon, you know, uh, six months ago, didn't look like he looked now. He, he, he got on board the ship, and uh, sometimes this happens. It goes one way or the other, but he, uh, he got on a self-improvement kick, right? 
And he started, he was, you know, he started hanging out with Volman and Volman, who's very like fitness conscious, you know, he started working out and lifting and he dropped a bunch of weight and, you know, and, and then he, just, and then Damon, you know, that guy, that guy thinks he's, you know, the universe's gift to jump drives. Uh, he, uh, he got himself, he fancies himself a little bit of a ladies man. And I'm not going to say any more, except for the fact that he maybe like there are rules against that kind of thing. And he, uh, but like, listen, I'm not out to bust people. I'm out to like make, I'm out to help these people be the, their best selves and do their best work. And so I'm trying to get him suffice it to say, I just, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a force for good on this ship. I help. I like, I'm not about the regs. I'm about what's best for the people. You know what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. The regs can only take you so far. So it's the spirit of the regs that have to be adhered to more than the letter of the regs. I always said. Yeah. Anyway, you know, it's just that kind of thing. Or like, you know, this uh, the, the inevitably the you know, black market, that kind of thing. Like, not a black market, but you know what I mean. Like that kind of thing. Yeah, like, um, like, uh, like a contraband. Yeah. And, you contraband. Know, I do my job. I confiscate it when I see it, but like you know, you're not going to stop that. The best way thing to do is just kind of manage it on a personal level. Yeah, Captain Montgomery. He you know he was so good at this kind of thing, and he was so good at people. I'm not a you know I'm trying to be. I'm not as good as he was. He uh, he really he really knew knew how to run a ship. So I'm pouring another one for him. And I said, so what could you t- what happens with Montgomery? I've heard different things that. I, I, I'm having trouble getting a picture of what actually happened that day. Well, the captain, you know, he cares about his officers, and Damon was in trouble. He, he got—he was in that that accident with the with you know, with the jump drive, and he ran down there. And I, I, I should—it should have been me. It should have been me who went in there after Damon. I, you know, not the captain, but you can't stop Montgomery. Not when not when not when his crew was in danger. And you didn't see what happened. You weren't—you didn't witness it to see any footage or anything. No, I, I mean, I wasn't there. I wasn't there, but, you know, I, I've, I've seen the footage. I mean, you can't really see, but, you know, it seems pretty, I mean, Hemp is going to get crucified once we get, once we get her back to port. I mean, phew, rough. Yeah, it seems like Hemp's really, like, messed up, like, badly. Yeah, I mean, I, I shouldn't tell you. No, no, don't, no worry about it. No, 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 it's okay. It's just you, me, and Mr. Hayden. You can tell me. I you know how many part. dolphin secrets I've kept over the years? I'm not telling you. I don't even know what kind of keep secrets dolphins Believe keep. me, you don't want to know. I'm doing you a favor not letting you in on some of the sordid things they get up to. And By now he's <sighs> like, he's pretty drunk. Like he's, he's slurring his words a little bit. He's like, he's in that, he's in that, he's in his cups. And he's just like, you know, I, I don't blame people for their, for, for what, like the kind of their, what goes wrong in their lives and the choices and the choices they make. But I do think we need to hold them responsible, uh, for their actions. But, uh, you know, contraband, that kind of thing. I'm not sure. I, all I'm saying is I'm not sure hemp was, uh, in a fully, uh, I'm not sure she was in a state to stand duty. We'll say that. Oh. So. What did you find? What, what? This happens on every ship, but this ship, especially with our, given our mission, this is, given, we're, this is a very important mission we're on. And, you know, we're all alone by ourselves for months at a time. And, you know, it's, there are some uh, substances that make their way on board. And I, you know, I, I found them, I airlocked them. We're good now, I think, but you know, I'm not so sure hemp was, uh, I can't say for sure. Right. I can't say with absolute certainty and I wouldn't, but uh, if they find out, if they find that out, I think, you know, it's not just their career that's over. I think she's going to spend the rest of her life in, in prison. Wow. You didn't hear that from, you didn't hear that from me. No, no. Vaulted. Dolphin vault. All right, uh. and from that scene, let's go back to Artemis and Damon, and you see you see the stars kind of judder. What do you do? Did you see that? See what? Wait, were you looking out? Yeah. 
See what? Did you see something? What is in this coffee? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you asked. So I take the I take the beans, and then I and he goes on about his recipe. <laughs> I wish Grant were here to give us give us all the technical details. Right. He, he could actually like go on for a while. But yeah. I, I, he, suffice to say, he goes like really, he goes really in depth, and he like won't stop talking about his coffee. Two hundred six degrees Fahrenheit. You gotta let it pour over. Um, <laughs> uh, I think that I think um, I think I'm just uh, sensitive to the caffeine. Actually, I, I feel like um, uh, I feel like my eyes are are jittering. Uh, do you know what I mean? Uh. I, I I guess so. I just feel a little like um, sorry. I I think I'm I'm just gonna grab myself a, a, a cup of water. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You want me to walk you? No, 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 no. It's I'm it's I'm just I'll grab it. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right. As you're walking down the corridor, the lights on the ship suddenly flicker. <laughs> uh, she grabs a wall. She really actually feels like she's like. Am I gonna be sick? Yeah. But this time, like, if you see you see other crew and they are also reacting to the lights, and they, they look a little worried about it. Mm, she. <laughs> uh, I'm nervous. She's gonna <laughs> run back to the kitchen, actually, to the mess hall area, uh, to get a cup of water from the kitchen where Drax and uh, what was his name? Collis. Collis, Collis, R. They're um, gone. They're, they've, they've since left. Oh, damn it. She, she goes, fuck. Uh, she grabs a water bottle. <laughs> and she grabs two. And then she runs back to where Arturo is. And he's gone now. He's gone. He's not at the missile bay. Fuck. The lights <laughs> flicker again. And this is happening all over the ship, by the way. All of you, wherever you are, the oh. lights are flickering. Oh, she wow. looks, she's chugging a water. And she also thinks maybe she's going through like slight withdrawal, um, which she's like been through before, but she's like chugging a water and getting a little sweaty. And she's looking out the missile bay window again. And this time she's taking like proper mental note, trying to, to see if it happened, like looking for a shooting star. Like she is looking for the area that it's going to come from if it happens again. Okay. All right, and we'll leave there and go over to Puffer. And you, you just you you've now like finished in the cargo bay. They've pa- you've, they packed up the probes. You've gotten out of your back suit. You also have seen th- these lights flicker. And Volman is with you. And both of you are kind of like looking up at the lights. Oh, wait, I pictured that that was happening behind him. Every time he turned his back away from the window, like just like. Like, let me send it out that yeah. far. And he turns back to the probe. And just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right <out> there. <laughs> it's a snuffleupagus. He's right there. Turn around. <laughs> right there. The, the first time we went to Hawaii, it uh, was February when the humpbacks were down there. And my wife and I went up on these beautiful cliffs and we're watching the humpbacks. And I didn't see them jump because every time I kind of got bored of waiting for them to jump, I would like, turn away and like look at a lizard or something and then one would jump and my wife would go Seth and instead of looking out to the water I looked to her <laughs> what? and she's pointing out to the water and then by the time I registered I looked out it was just empty water and this happened like eight nine times oh, <laughs> so, oh, no. it's just like why do you keep doing that it's like I'm really well trained if you say my name I look at you <laughs> 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 to have so, anyway, response. Right. Yeah. So picture any glitches in the matrix is <laughs> I'm just looking at a probe. <laughs> You're staring at the probe. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to ask, uh, is that, is that normal? Is that something that's been happening since the, uh, misjump? That hasn't happened before. Um, okay. All right. I need, to, I need you and all of your people, uh, in the ward room, uh, I gotta get to the bridge. I gotta get to the bridge. Um, um if you d- look, I'm an engineer. I do you as who do you got on the power plant? That's I that's I got other responsibilities. Power plant goes out, life support goes out. Like, give me the engineering. Um roll persuade. <laughs> He's a relatively junior officer, so like you know, <laughs> hate. He goes, 
All right, I, I, we'll go to engineering, but if, if Damon isn't there to, to supervise you, then you, you can't stay, all right? If, if like, Damon's not there, you need me even more, but sure, all right. I, 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 just let me get a look, let me get a look. He, uh, he, uh, and he, uh, gets on, he gets on the PA and he, PA, he, uh, now he calls for all three of you to meet in engineering as well. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you <Drunk>. go? <laughs> yes. Artemis takes the long way around. She wants to pass by the kitchen again and see if she can spot, um, Drax or, uh, Collis. I think she like even asks any petty officers who are walking by. She's like, have you seen Drax? Have you seen Collis? They're like, uh, they're like, they're like, they're, they're, and then, oh, by the way, the captain is like, yellow alert, yellow alert, all hands to stations, all hands to stations. So like, everyone's like, I'm kind of rushing around trying to like get to their, and they're like, uh, I don't know, check the supply, just supply office. I mean, I don't, and they kind of, they keep going. And she's trying to find the supply <laughs> office as she makes her way. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Did you bring Amazing. enough? Is that the last one? <laughs> Gigi only left me this one left after that. Ridiculous. <laughs> Damn, that I have two up. more. Ask Gigi. It looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gigi, where are you? Well, you were you were with the captain, but now she uh, she's oh, yeah. off on the bridge. Yeah, so, she. I mean, she left a while ago. Um, actually, Gigi is just left. Went back to her her room, but before she did, she just knocked because they're still they're all on deck three, right? All the quarters are on deck three. Are we? In the, a- the officers' quarters are on deck three, but you're they put you up uh, in a crew berth down oh. on deck nine. Deck eight. Oh nine. Ooh. Eight and nine okay. are the cr- crew quarters. Okay. Oh, okay. put, did so did then, I say they put you on eight? Apologies, my notes are wrong. Okay. No, no, <laughs> I, I just have deck eight as crew quarters, so you yeah. may. De- oh, uh, you did, de- okay. Crew quarters on deck eight and deck nine. Okay. So deck eight. Okay, I bay decks, crew quarters. You're right, you're right, I was right. Okay, so she's just going to, Gigi made her way back down to the uh, crew quarters, and she just knocked on Philo's door and Artemis's door and Huffer's door, and since no one answered... She said, oh, I'll just go in my quarters and wait. She turned into her stand. She uh, like changed into her uh, standard issue space jammies or whatever they give them to wear. <laughs> and she said she was just going to wait to see when the rest of the her crew got back from wherever they were so she could talk to them because she has theories that she wants to discuss. But okay, great. when the lights start flickering, you know, she sort of sits up. And she's like, walk to the, the door or whatever and just opens it to see if it's just happening in like her room or anyone anywhere else. So what does she see when she peeks her head out the door? <laughs> you hear the yellow alert. Uh, you see the crew kind of bustling to get out, like the crew that were in their bunks are kind of bustling to get to their stations. And then you hear oh. your, your name on the PA to get to meet engineering. Oh, oh, okay. Well, she doesn't have time to change. So she just puts some slippers on and heads there in her <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's it. All right. So let's let's move us ahead. So you, so Philo, maybe a slightly still drunk, Gigi in her in her jam jams, uh, <laughs> Artemis carrying two bottles of water, and uh, and Puffer with Lieutenant Volman, a uh, sub Lieutenant Volman, get to engineering. Uh, Volman kind of key cards his way in. Damon is standing there. They're all kind of like he's the, the engineering crew is all like bustling around. Uh, and they're like, like they're they've started to put on back suits down there, uh, and he's like, he sees you, and he's like, he sees you, Puffer, and he's like, and you too, Armis, and he's like, oh, um, excellent. Uh, I need you guys to come take a look at something. Uh, I got them, I got them hailed. Thanks. Um, and someone's Gen- involvement's like, I'm gonna be, I'll be on the bridge, and he leaves. Um, and yeah, so Lieutenant Damon walks you over to the power plants and they're really to the jump drive and he shows you and he's like, I need you guys to take a look at this. Um, I have my own analysis, but I'm, I want to confirm before I take it to the captain. Um, so Puffer, you have engineering. Artemis, do you have any engineering at all? Yeah, I do. Or no, I don't, but I have jack of all trades, so I, I could roll. I have electronics. Okay, great. Roll I have a J drive engineer one. Okay, roll that, um, and he's he's like he's gonna like bring you up so you can you can actually get in, and take a look, and do what you need to do on the systems to actually make your your uh, your analysis. Eleven. What'd you roll? Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. 
Okay. So, what you guys see is you, 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 you take a look at the jump drive, you can get like kind of stick your head in, look around, poke around, you, you know, they're, be, they're being disassembled and reassembled so you can actually see them pretty well. You also take a look at the diagnostics on the displays and you see that they're actually, um, the damage is more extensive than, any, than they thought originally. So the problem is, and what you can tell, and that in addition to a fuel leak in that moment when Hemp tried to recycle the, the fuel and, and Damon was in the Jeffries tube, there was also a coolant leak and the power plants have suffered physical damage as well. Um, so in particular, the conduits and the cabling connecting the power plants, the various ship systems have been overloaded and are nearly fried, like uh, you know, almost system wide. Uh, they and your analysis is they need to be replaced entirely, and it would basically it's only a matter of time until they fail and the ship is just dead in the water. Wow! This is why you do not put aluminum foil in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think as as Puffer and I are looking at it, like we work together on the Kate's Gambit like all the time, yeah. and I think I give Puffer the look, which is just like. Oh, they fuck this one up. Like oh. we've been there before, but I give them like the. It's 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 kind of <laughs> weird that it's not my bad job. That right, I'm or it's not. Mine. <laughs> How refreshing to have this I mean, be someone else's fault. It takes some of the pressure off having to relay and be the bearer of bad news, but this is some fucked up news. I mean, uh, okay. uh, Ar- Arturo. I'm sorry, Officer Damon. Lieutenant. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. <laughs> Officer, Do, are you he's thirsty? a cop now. <laughs> All the, the engineering crew just kind of like they're, they're like really working hard in like an emergency situation. They just pause <laughs> and like swivel their heads <laughs> over to you, oh, oh, oh. and then they just swivel their heads back and get back to work. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Lieutenant Damon, uh, you're, uh, you're going to want to take a look at this. Uh, and he and he 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 drops what he's doing. and comes over. And goes so. Um, I don't want to bias you, so you, you tell me what you, you found. Yeah, it's held together with chewing gum. I mean, <laughs> the, the the capacitors are, are, are basically fried. You have to replace almost entirely every connection. That's what I found, too. You want this bottle of water? Please. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I feel better now. Thank you. <laughs> More hydrated. It's great. Yeah. Staying positive. Um, okay. I like um, this guy. Yeah. It's good. He He's knows like, to stay hydrated in an emergency situation. I don't, tr- I don't trust him, but I like him. He's like, okay, I need a minute. I need a minute. Um, thank you. Um, and he goes off to oh. he goes off to kind of like confer with his um, with the other office with his uh, with his crew and kind of his you know his, his crew chiefs. Uh, and that gives you guys a moment to kind of confab together if you wanted to kind of catch each other up on what's been going on. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I went on my I date. I got your tape. How'd it go? It was, he's really nice. He's it's really, it's unfor- it's unfortunately, enjoyable. unfortunately, he's really nice. Um, he took me we're to the missile bay, life. and we were looking at the stars. How romantic. I know, but there's something very important. There was a moment when I was looking at the stars before everything started happening with the lights and the code yellow. The stars moved. They, they juddered. They, they switched and moved as if, as if time or our positioning was shifting. It was, it was, I've never seen it. I have never seen it before. It made me feel insane. And then the light started flickering and I thought maybe that was connected, but now I don't think it's connected. I don't know what is happening. How, how'd everything go with you guys? Did, were you guys drinking anything weird? No, he made, like me, that. he made me this amazing coffee. I don't even like coffee and I like coffee now. Mm. Yeah, it was I awesome. Will- I'm, I was, I'm trashed. I'm, I'm drunk right now. What? I was trying to talk to the, you know, and I got, we, I gave him some of the, you know, the, my, my dad's bourbon, and we started to get into it. Anyway, he said that Hemt, he'd busted Hemt for some contraband. I think she was on some serious shit, man. Space on, weed. Space weed. Worse. No. But real fast, I do want to also say that three, four months ago, Gigi and I stole 
Philo's little bottle of that really good stuff, and we just we replaced that thing with swill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's never hit yeah. me like this before. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I had hair in my chest me. for a week, but uh, I didn't mind. <laughs> Um, that adds up because also I ran into two guys from the kitchen who were eyeing me down like 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 when I do deals like eyeing me down like like they knew something that I didn't know or they were wondering if I knew something that I shouldn't have known anyway that makes sense Philo it makes sense I mean if they're doing deals and people are taking stuff on the side I mean those guys are supplying it a thousand percent I can smell them a mile away I, oh, there's yeah. only 70 people oh. to deal to. I mean, that's a pretty small turf, but <sighs> maybe that would explain this electric thing. Uh, I've always say like, probes didn't come back with any anomalies, and we shot those things out of good ways. I think, though, if we maybe help fix this problem, that might endear us enough. Uh, because after Artemis's thing, I want to get to the sensor logs to see if the sensors picked up the... Glitch. Yeah, the glitch. Yeah, the glitch. Um, so I would, I would like to absolutely MacGyver the shit out of this power plant and like start. I, like I wanted this to take charge in the. I'm trustworthy and I know what I'm doing. Way, which means I'm so gonna fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. ship exploded. Great. <laughs> So, well, first, does anyone want to roll a, some sort of check on uh, what Artemis saw? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, can, I do. Can I roll what a we, check, like an astrogation check, or like? I'll let you roll astrogation. Yeah. Okay. To understand. What, what are we? What are we rolling? What are we rolling streetwise or? I would let yeah. you roll astrogation. I would let you roll science if you had, um, if you have any any sciences that might be a, applicable. Um, okay. Well. Um. I'm gonna roll astrogation. Yeah, I'm gonna roll jack of all trades. That's a ten oh. for astrogation. Eleven. Ah. Nice. Ah, ten <laughs> for me too. Oh. I have a minus three. <laughs> yeah. That's the pudding cup. <laughs> it's you don't know what that was. Like you've never seen anything <laughs> like it, and you have like, aside from something like in like, put it this way: if it were like you've never. It doesn't make any kind of sense what you saw happen as a natural phenomenon. Like if you were, you know, somehow afflicted or altered, you, you could be like, okay, it's in, like that probably is more logical, but like it doesn't make sense that the stars would just move and then right. move back. And then like you just like the star map would change. Like, yeah. The so positions of the stars like moved, like as she was looking at them. Yeah, it's like where they kind of they shifted a little bit, like the and brightness is all kind of like recalibrated. It was like it looked like she was looking at it like the same sky, but not so right. So Hover's at least gonna look and say, I see two possibilities. Yeah. One. Um there there the, there's the actual distortion of whatever time bubble we're in. And I think we should send the probes there, uh, that direction, if you can remember what constellation direction that was. Oh, I got it. Two. Simulation. <gasps> Whoa. What? Wait, 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 as in everybody's a simulation? Two ways it could be. And remember, I got a two on this roll. <laughs> <laughs> We're locked in low berths with our brains hooked up to a machine. Psionics. Oh. No, nah, don't. It's the Shodani. It's the Shodani. No, stop, Philo, stop it. No, Buffer. it's either the Shodani or it's like that classical ancient Earth story, The Matrix. Why do you always bring it's up The like Matrix? It's just like the Dolphin says. You know I've never great, seen it. It's a great film. It's a dead medium, but it's really good. I keep saying you should check it out, but I don't want to, I don't want to, Go all in on the Matrix theory yet. Or the Jodani. I think we should do the probes thing. But first, I wanna I wanna get the sensor data. Yeah. And Matthew, I want to I wanna rockstar the shit out of this power. You wanna rockstar the Yeah, first we gotta fix this. Otherwise, we're about to lose oxygen on this shit. So Goddamn right. Yeah. I need a hairpin. 
an apple peeler. <laughs> Why does it feel like so many bubble gum? So bubble gum, that, that blue crap that your teacher used to put posters up on the walls. I want that shit. I need the tape from that commercial where the guy taped a boat and then sailed on it and it worked. <laughs> I need that slap tape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone go raise your drunk drawers because we're going to take a break for these messages and come back. <laughs> Check your drunk drawer. Okay, and we're back. Welcome, everybody. Uh, all right, so Puffer, you want to get involved? You want to get involved in the repair efforts to fix this very uh, this power plant problem? So I, I I want I want to get these guys to be like, man, you're awesome. You saved our asses. We will stop treating you like you're criminals because you, you <laughs> duct taped the shit out of this. Yeah. Okay. And only one of us is a criminal. <laughs> well. Convicted. Convicted. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so give me a mechanic roll. And anyone who has mechanic can roll on this. And if, if you know. I do. I do too. Oh, goody. And just gonna I'll, like I'll basically to assess like you you've poured over what's going you've looked at the drives you've looked at the the schematics you looked at the diagnostics and now you're gonna kind of like helping to like imagine how you could fix this. Nine. Seven. Nine. Seven from from Gigi. Seven. Uh, eleven. Okay. Mm. So you're all kind of pouring over the de- like you're standing you're all standing in front of one of the displays like looking like looking at all the like all the, the all the problems and Philo who's still a little drunk basically you come up <laughs> and you suggest that the only way to do that with any kind of speed is to shut the entire system down and the rest of you are like that's stupid shut up Philo go <laughs> go go dry out somewhere keep and drinking then, yeah <laughs> you're shut like, up you drunk Lieutenant Damon there and he's like. Actually, I think you're right. And yeah, so you all you all kind of compare notes, and basically, you think the most effective way to make this change, and remember, time is of the essence for a lot of reasons, is you're going to have to power down the ship systems basically almost entirely and run only basic essential functions and then make the necessary repairs, replace all of the power plant parts, and then bring everything back on board, and that will allow them to repair the jump drive. Wow. How long? Oh. Great question. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna depend on who's helping. Um, <gasps> uh, you think you think, you think think in the range of six to 12 hours. Okay. okay. Depending on, will we depending need on vac- who, Will we need vac suits? Not only will you need vac suits, but the entire, the entire crew and office, everybody on board the ship is gonna need to do a vac suit because you're gonna have to shut oh, life man. support down. Yep. Okay. Wow. Um, the okay, only we'll thing need... you'll basically be able to, write, ru- to run is like emergency batter- backup batteries. Okay. So okay. we're just going to have the track lighting glowing no. on the ship as we <laughs> plank around. Down. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're going to go essential. zero gravity and. Um, oh, right. Well, we need full vac suits or maybe just breather masks or. The uh, they're gonna go. The crew is gonna go full vac suits uh, just okay. in case there's some sort, you know, any kind of yeah. problem. Um, a leak. Yeah. Okay. Um. Where's uh? Hey, uh, Arturo. Sorry, <laughs> Lieutenant Damon. <laughs> Lieutenant he's, Damon. He's, he's like, I'm right here. Oh God. <laughs> 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 uh, were you behind me the whole time? <laughs> um, I wasn't talking about you. Um. Where's your big red button? Sorry. My, the big my, red button. The the big red button. I I'm not sure what you're referring to. Just the, well, the tell normal. Me more. Just the big red button that you, <laughs> that you press to alert everybody for the shutdown. The big red button. We all have one. Every ship has one. Oh, the big red button. Mm-hmm. I see. We need to talk to the captain about this before we go. Before we do it, this is. <laughs> I can't <laughs> shut the ship down by myself. I'm just. A, I'm just a lieutenant. Um, You're the third in command. <laughs> we don't. We don't going. have time. We need to talk to the captain. In, now, in where's cases the captain? of this, the engineer has full authority to do this. That that is, that is Rex. If you decide that we need to shut it down, you are in charge. Alert your crew. Everybody needs a vac suit. Where do you keep the extras? I mean, they're in lockers. All I mean, I need to. I I, I, I need to. Uh, I need to. He's starting to get very overwhelmed. Where's <laughs> the comms? Where's the comms? <laughs> Where's the um, intercom system? <laughs> he eventually he slaps the intercom. He's like, Captain, get down to engineering, please. 
please. Okay. Um, and okay, so let's, uh, so, so Puffer's going to take this up to, to kind of take charge. Okay. And he's, he's, he's going to declare everybody needs to get, get vac suited up, you know, you know, do checks. We're going to be shutting off life support and full power in probably five minutes now. And I'm going to start sh- my one semester of officer training. I am going to attempt to <laughs> to take charge. And uh, by the way, I really don't know if the engineer has the authority of the captain in case of emergency <laughs> like this, but it sounds Roll really good. Bluff. So, bluff, uh, bluff. so by the way, that was like totally talking on my ass, but it sounded real. Um, <laughs> I bought it. I, I, bought I was it. like, oh, I guess. Yeah, so I, bought it. So I was like, things. that doesn't sound right, but okay. Yeah, uh, that doesn't seem like a great well, policy. Well, there's no time for bureaucracy. So yeah, uh, he's going to start shouting like, yo, everybody get, get vac suited up. Everybody check your buddy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do you this have is, leadership? This is Priority one. No. No. <laughs> we'll roll, roll it untrained. Or... Oh, okay. That worked so well last time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I would normally say add your social standing, but you know, add your education because you made your, your case that you're using your one semester of officer candidate school. <laughs> Better. Better. Um, so six. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there were, everyone's a little bit weirded out, and by the you like just start issuing orders, and Lieutenant Damon's still like he's like he's like getting very overwhelmed. Then he just like nods and like tells them to, and they're like, oh, okay, all right. Uh, and then the captain gets down there, and she's like, yes, what what, what is going on? What is what what is happening down here? What's wrong with my ship? We're about to have a full power failure, Captain. What? As I'm why, like, why are you telling me this? Uh, because we're the uh, ones that I did it. Arturo, tell her. Lieutenant Damon, tell her. <laughs> They're right. They're right. The damage, it's much more extensive. We, the power, we're going to have an, a, a total power failure. Captain at any Yang, moment. I, I'm so sorry, but this is the only option, and it would take about six to 12 hours. We've done the calculations. Your entire crew has been helping. Your engineering department is wonderful, but this is truly the only option. Okay. She's like, what do you want to roll? Mm. I'd let you I'm roll. Saying, these people are used to ships that are in great shape, but the two of us have been working on piece of shit engines that are held together with spit for years. <laughs> 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 this is our yeah. natural yeah. environment. <laughs> I, could do, I could do persuade. I would do persuade. All right, do persuade. Okay. Uh, eight. I thought it was a nine. Could I add any? Could I add my education to it? Yeah, sure. Or I mean, it's really gonna be social. Mm, I'd like to not do social. It's bad. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> stick with my eight. So why you can you can use education if you make a case for why why education? I think she would just use her 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 electronic and computer engineering skills to say why she understands like her her basic education from college and just say why she understands that if they don't do this repair in full then they will have systematic failures in each different part of the ship continually until it fries other parts like she's trying to explain the engineering side by saying like you can't fix part you have to fix the whole otherwise it will like short itself out continually uh so what's your total uh 10 She's like, don't, you do this. And she's like, you forget. I am an engineer. Show me. Oh, and right. Oh, I love and a woman you, in charge. Yes, yeah. Captain. And oh. you show her the, you sh- like you pull up the display and you show her the diagnosis and what you said. And she's yes. Oh, and she slaps the PA. And all hands, this is the captain. Please prepare for emergency ship shutdown. We'll be institute, your, six of your officers, your office will be, will be instituting a, a mandatory watch process. Just like, we shut the ships down. We shut down all of our defenses, all of our sensors, everything. We'll be, we'll be sitting dead in the water. I'm going to institute mandatory watches at all, po- all ports and all windows. Make sure nothing approaches the ship. You, uh, said, you I, said there's a possibility it, of, a, of, a, of a capture, right? You said there, there's somebody coming for us? In fact, two, two. specific planets, uh, Captain. Uh, I'm going to get my vac suit. I'll be right back. And that, and that went out on the internet. I don't know if they had that when you were around, yeah. but so there could also just be mercenaries or treasure hunters. Um, 
do we is there do we have anyone in low berths? We need to know if we if we can shut power to, to low berths. <laughs> what do you mean? Probably you have, right? not, right? Does the ship does the ship have any crew members? In low oh, the whole, I mean, you're, the whole ship is being the whole ship's power is going to be shut down. But in yeah. low, in oh. like hypersleep. Oh no, can, no, 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 no! Do we yeah, need no. to do, do we need to put any any power in low bursts? I'm trying to find out. Do we have anyone in low burst, really? Um, you don't have any, you don't have anyone in any kind of hypersleep. Everyone's awake. Okay. Um, Good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so so you have you all have choices. Like it's not puffer. You want to be on in engineering, kind of supervising and organizing the repair. Gigi, uh, where do you want? Do you want to be in engineering as well? Um. Yes, only because she has mechanic. She does have mechanic and jack of all trades, so she can sort of be pulling second up. I mean, okay, yeah, great. I think so. Um, Philo and Artemis, do you, you, you can also, you're also welcome to stand a watch. You know, <laughs> if if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to be an engineer. Uh, I mean, I think even though he's drunk, I think he's probably best. He's he's not like great at anything, but. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I think probably just having spotted the problem or- originally, like maybe he should also, Philo should be in engineering too. Okay. Does uh, anyone other than Artemis have astrogation? I do too. I, yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Remember that there's a story she talked about about the glitch when I'd like one astrogator looking out a window? Mm-hmm. Um, <sighs> Captain, permission to float between stations to help anywhere needed? She's like, sure. All right, yes, fine. <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> All right. All aboard. Get, just get your back suits on, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. We have we have some extras in the uh, crew locker, uh, you know, on the on the, the fore end of this deck. Ten, ten four. And she winks at everybody, not, except the captain. She goes. <laughs> <laughs> she Very subtle. That's that's good. That'll, oh. All right. Really so flying the under the radar. You, Damon ain't got a chance now. <laughs> <laughs> the four of you go, need to go get your back suits on. So you go down to the, the crew locker and everyone else, like the crew is kind of bustling in and out and everyone's like got their back suits on, sealing them and then rushing back to their stations. Um, and then uh, you hear over the PA, you know, emergency shutdown in five, four, three, two, one, mark. And it's just like, boom, <laughs> boom. And Damon shuts out all power to the ship. You guys are just like you're getting your back suits on. You're like you're like sealing them up. Ah, and then, who's touching me? <laughs> Do we just then, lose gravity? Just G four? We're just like whoop. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> the ship wasn't really the ship wasn't moving. It was kind of it was it was stationary while they did the repair. But yeah, you're you're like there's nothing keeping you. You have ma- I mean you have mag boots in your mag you have mag oh, boots on, so you could okay wow. you could boring. Walk, but, Boring. Boom, boom. And, <laughs> and according to the expanse, walking in mag boots is just like walking in pumps. Exactly. Yeah. Really? Is that what they say? He'll <laughs> tell. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. So it's dark in here. I mean, like, the only lights are what you like, exactly what you said, Artemis, the emergency running lights that are powered by the ship's batteries. Um, I mean, the panels, like, all the displays are dark. People are cracking glow like you. People are cl- cracking glow rods and attaching them to their suits. Uh, if you, you get it, you can get a, like a peek down the corridor of like these kind of like ghostly, glo- like these ghostly orbs in the distance, kind of like floating towards engineering. Um, but you guys are like finishing up. Uh, you're, you're getting your like finishing up, and you're kind of helping each other strap finish. You know, you're strapping in, and then you hear in your headsets because there's no sound uh, in space because it's a vacuum. And you turn around, and Collis and Drax, those two crew members, are standing in the doorway. Like, hello there. Heard you've been uh, asking questions about one of us. This is the tall one, who's uh, who's Drax. Who's like a tall, skinny one, and a kind of a short, squatter one. Which one's Drax? Uh, he is. The shorter one is Drax. Hey, I know you. You know me, he says. Yeah. You don't recognize me? No. Where would I know you from? I think we have a lot in common, if you catch my drift. 
I don't know what I'd have in common with the brasses narcs they sent on board to check up on things. You think I'm... That's... That's, um... Wow, I haven't heard that. That's really... That's funny. That's really funny. Ooh. Oh, man. Um, no, I'm not a narc. We saw your paperwork. Your your special mission from the Emperor. Something about the... Oh, Some other planets God. I never heard of. Please. We know, you, a cover one. we know a cover when we see it, lady. You really think that your little small peace operation is concerning the Emperor? You think he's, what, counting how many stims are on a ship? God, you really think pretty highly of yourself. What are you selling anyway? I mean, is it stems? Also, do you have any? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, they, they, like, ex they exchanged a glance. They're very confused. They did not expect this at all. <laughs> and they're like, we don't take kindly to outsiders coming in and poking their noses where we don't belong. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Hey, when you're looking to sell, come find me. Until then, could you excuse me? I need to get to my station. I got to help out the ship. Roll streetwise. And anyone else who wants to wants to like are we there too? Uh, yeah, we're... you're all, all four of okay. you are staying in there. Okay. We don't, but we don't know these guys, right? Only Artemis I does, right? I told you about them, though. Okay. What stat do we use? Uh, I Ooh. would use social. Ooh, Plus eight. Ten. Eight. Seven. All right, puffer. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you, you, Puffer steps. You, you step forward. What do you say to kind of to, uh, to kind of show that you're on the level? Um, I, I I'll, I'll probably say uh, how I I did eight years in whatever the naval prison was. Show them your prison yeah, tattoo. Yeah, show them your, your tattoo. It, it, it's space Leavenworth. <laughs> uh, calling someone a narc is a killing offense. Either the person getting called or the person calling it. You absolutely sure this is what you want to do? And they, they they kind of they exchange another glance. And then Here's, one of them, you know what I had to do to stay. Seems uh, that could be taken a lot of ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> They exchange a glance and they're like, "All right, guess that's if this is what you want to do, Mister Space Leavenworth." And one and uh, Drax disconnects his mag boot from the floor and taps it against the uh, the door jam, and three other crewmen appear behind them. Oh, whoa! All carrying wrenches and other uh, blunt instruments. Is this? Uh, you want to you want to dance? Is that what you, what you want to happen here? I'm too old for this shit. What's your plan? You're gonna beat us up? Uh, ship's pretty dark. I think there's a nice nice uh, a nice argument for an airlocking, don't you? Don't you, gentlemen? Airlock won't open when the power's down, dumbass. I'm <laughs> sucker punch him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rolling. Uh, let's roll for initiative. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> Oh yay! It's our first initiative. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming our I don't have my armor on. If I've got a, a vac suit or yeah, no armor. Mm -hmm. And Son none of, of you have bitch. weapons right now either. Son no. of a bitch. Nope. It's okay. I actually have okay. unarmed fighting. I learned it in prison. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have. I, there are five guys, <laughs> including Collis and Drax, and the four of you. Five guys. Five, including. Okay. Okay, uh, what does everyone get? Uh, so you're gonna I got roll a five. either a five, dex check a... or an intellect check, depending on whatever you want. Oh, uh, then a oh, six. Good. Six for Philo. Six for Philo. Seven for Gigi. Seven for Gigi. Wait, do we okay. add anything? Because it says it's a tactics roll, but like, or is it? It's it's just a, a stat. Dex? Oh, Dex, Dex or Dex intelligence. Or, or, yeah. Oh. 
Oh. oh. B. Okay, um. well, if it's... Okay, I'm just gonna do dexterity then. My intellect is not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, eight. if we're doing dex though, my dex is 10. <laughs> I thought we were doing tactics. Yeah, my dex is 10. So you roll a 10, Gigi? Yeah. Mm. An eight for Artemis <laughs> and Puffer, what do you roll? I'm on a 13. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. nice. Wow. <laughs> what? I rolled a 12. This is like Eastern nice. Promises with the Puffer mm-hmm. girl. This is like. And, um, <laughs> hang on. Just organizing my initiative here. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So <laughs> you. Um, sorry, I would also. Uh, because this is obviously ground people would like to make a military tactics oh. and the effect of whatever I roll is added to all of the same people on my team's initiative. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't screw that one up. Um, so 10. 10 and the so, effect of that, hang on. It would be a two. Flipping through rule book. Um, it's a plus one. Yeah. So it's gonna be a plus one. Yeah. Oh no, since this is, it's not a task chain. It's an actual skill check, the effect. So if, if, it's, if it's an eight target, so nine, 10. Um, the effect of the check is then applied to the initiative of everyone on the same side. Oh, okay. Great. Oh. Mm. Okay, great. Uh, that does make a difference. So, okay. Um, right? Yeah, that doesn't change, but... Okay, okay, good. Okay, uh, Puffer, you go first. So you, you are gonna sucker punch Drax in the face? (laughs) Um... Actually, what I would like to do would, uh, if, if two of them are coming at me, is I would actually like to grapple one and throw him into the other. Okay. <laughs> that would be uh, you, significant action. So uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is pretty significant. I'm gonna, because you're in zero G, which I, I'm playing a little bit faster than this, this but we're in zero G, I'm going to say that's going to be a difficult check. Okay. So I do have athletics decks and a uh, vac suit. So if that makes any difference, I'm skilled in both of those. So. Yeah, I'd still say it's difficult. Um, yeah, go for it. Yeah, and I'm wearing a vac suit, so. Crap. Uh, Seven. Seven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I so you go, you go to grab for for Drax, but zero G back suits being cumbersome. You kind of just like end up just kind of shoving him back, and he's like he's he's a little off balance. Um, More like Weeble wobbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, he's still on his. He's like he he like falls down to the floor, but his, his feet are still attached, and he can just like on his turn he'll just be like. Oh, so it's like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Bad <Okay>. special effects. <laughs> uh, Gigi, you are up. Okay, so Gigi is like, she's ready to go because she sees, she's like, you know, used to Puffer's action. So she knew, right, if he didn't make make a connection that, you know, she was ready to go. So she's going to, we're going to, you know, Chuck Norris, roundhouse kick to the face. Okay. Um, yeah. Break his face plate. Yeah, the tall yeah. one. And you know, before she does it, she's gonna step right up with all of her five foot fourness. Did I say she's five foot? No, maybe she's five seven. I don't remember. But she's not that tall. But she's gonna say, "Look, we might be an ex-con. We might have failed out of school. We might have slept with every professor. We might have been court-martialed. But don't think we can't blow this ship to smithereens and rebuild it from top to bottom in the same day." And right then, she's just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> the face. The tall one, which is Collis. Okay, go ahead. And I have some ads because I'm doing this on strength, right? Yeah, so it's a melee attack, so you'll roll melee and whatever the appropriate specialty is. Okay. And then 
add, so it's 2D plus your strength, though it sounds like you're kind of doing more of a dex attack if you're trying to like roundhouse him in the face. Yeah. All right, okay. so yeah, so your melee skill plus, so t 2D plus your melee skill plus dex. 12. Okay. Oh, nice. So <laughs> GG in zero gravity, no less. <laughs> I, I'm, Whoa. On, Seth, Seth Orskid, check me. I'm reading some, there's a zero G weapon trait that, uh, that says you can use it without having to roll an athletics dex check. If you're, oh, if you're in combat, it, it you with, to, that, that's with firearms. It's just firearms. Um, okay. But if you have athletics decks, you don't even need to worry about it. Like, it, it just negates it. You're considered so in control, it's okay. not even a thing anymore. All right. So GG. So Puffer lunges for for the guy to try to throw him into each other. Ends up just kind of shoving him backwards, and then yeah. GG kind of just like detaches the, the mag boots. You know, floats forward and just like whips around this roundhouse kick that lands in in Collis's face. Um, yes. Okay, you hit him. Roll damage. Uh, is that just two D roll damage? For maybe it's gonna no. be. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh no. Why don't I have this in my notes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to. I'm guessing if you add your strength as a bonus. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And adds you add the effect. So whatever it needed to hit, like an eight, she's starting at four. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um. Yeah. As you can tell, damage. I expect you to solve this problem differently. Nine. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you just come up and wail on the, hit, hit, and hit hit this guy's face so hard with a kick that he's like whipped around again. Like he's, his mag boots are still attached to the deck, but he's like his body just flung to, to one side. Um, okay, uh, that brings it to Drax's turn. Okay, so Drax is gonna haul off and try to punch you, uh, Puffer, because you you kind of shoved him. So he's gonna <laughs> float back up. And then he's gonna haul off and try to punch you in the face. And he rolls, and he misses. <laughs> okay, <laughs> with a six. Okay. Um, all right. And then that brings it to Artemis. Uh, how do we tell if we hit or miss? Like, if somebody aims at me, what am I going off of? So, the, to hit, it's gonna be an average. It's just gonna be an average check. You're not. You're not. Oh. There's no kind of range penalty here. Um, you can, as a re reaction, dodge, dive for cover, or parry. Um, to kind but of you're spending your future action to do that? Right. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, you get like a minus two on every time you do a reaction on your so next but, action. For, yeah, it's a minus, minus one two? dice modifier for every reaction you take. But uh, to hit okay. me, for like to hit Artemis, it's just an average because like I have no armor on. We're just, yeah. okay, gotcha. It, like, armor works kind of like DR in Pathfinder, we're just like, Ticks off the damage, so you're. It's the fun thing about this is that you're, everyone's kind of hittable. It's just yeah. it just depends on the difficulty of the shot or the difficulty of the punch. Like what Puffer wanted to do was like a, was complicated, so that's why it was more difficult. But otherwise, it's usually just average. Gotcha. Okay, I think Artemis is just gonna wind up and just deck one of them in the face, just a straight <laughs> punch, like directly to the nose. She is 42. She doesn't give a shit about these guys and she just needs to like lay down the law immediately. And she's been in many situations like this. So she just like steps forward, mag boot to the ground and just decks one of them in the mouth. Okay, roll to hit him. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a strength. So you're gonna take, you're gonna roll 2D plus your melee skill plus strength, your strength modifier. That's an eight. Okay, you hit him. Uh, nice. So which guy do you which guy do you go for? So Ka Gigi whacked Collis and he's kind of you know he's and so he's like all spun around. Drax is still standing up, so maybe Drax. Yeah, I'll go for Drax because he just popped back up to try to punch Puffer. And Drax was the one that I had talked to originally, uh, who was being a dick. So I think she's just gonna. <laughs> it's dark, but she's like whoever's voice. Yes. I'm punchy. So you punch him straight in the faceplate. Yeah. <laughs> And you you rolled an eight, so there's a, the effect is zero, so you don't have, you don't get a bonus from that. So it's just right. you're just two D plus rolled, strength. Oh, plus strength? That's yeah. a twelve. Oh, wow. unarmed is is one D. One D. Sorry, one D. Oh, can I take my better one, my six that I rolled? <laughs> sure. <laughs> that <laughs> so seems that's a, fair. That sounds that's a fair. Seven. Seven. Yeah. seven. 
Okay, you uh, you wind up and just punch this guy straight in his faceplate, and he's just like, Doom! and his head gets knocked back with the <laughs> inside of his back suit. Um, okay, uh, that brings us to Collis's turn. Collis is all spun around, so he is going to pull the wrench from you know, that he was holding from behind his leg, straighten himself up as his minor action, and then just try to wail at Gigi because uh, you Ooh. kicked him in the face. Um, Okay. Okay. Okay, and he hits you. Uh, and he's going to roll. Okay, that's going to be six points of damage. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he whacks you. He, like, whacks you in the, in the shoulder with a wrench. Ah. You fool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then Philo is your turn. So Philo is kind of useless in situations like this. He's not strong at all. He's a little bit of a klutz. He's got a <laughs> belter's body. So he's going to do uh, what he does in situations like this whenever he doesn't have access to his weapons. Uh, he is fluent in Delphinic Trinary due to his close relationship <laughs> with Craig. So he is going to sing... In Delphine, the language of elevated dolphins, a dolphin fight song. And uh, it's a horrible sound <laughs> to untrained ears. So he's going to belt out this horrible sound over the comms in hopes of somehow distracting our opponents. Okay. I don't even know what to have you roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> Perform? <laughs> Yeah. Performance? <laughs> I can roll my Delphinic Trinary <laughs> and uh, with uh, with education. Okay, roll your Delphinic Trinary. <laughs> There's uh, a reason his entire unit got killed. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> there, there was a reason they made him the patsy for what, <laughs> what happened too. <laughs> That's right. The people get a little tired of this, I'm sure. Uh, 11. What does the song sound like, Skid? I don't even want to subject you to it. It's like, just imagine a choir of actual dolphins trying to sing like the Notre Dame fight song. Like that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and you rolled, and what did you roll? Uh, 11. 11. 11. Um, okay. All right. It is now the three other guys' turn. <laughs> And after hearing what? that go out on the comms, because they can, like, you, basically, you just, like, brought, it, I think you maybe you broadcast that ship-wide. <laughs> <laughs> the three of them just, they disconnect their mag boots and float away. Uh, oh, great. And they, awesome. they, they, run, they run. Oh, good. <laughs> I did it. Um, Drax, Drax and Collis, though, they stick around. Um, and Puffer, it's your turn. Okay. So it was it was Drax that I just weeble wobbled. Last? Weeble wobbled, and then yeah, and then he popped up. Uh, he popped up, and then uh, Artemis punched him in the face. Okay. <laughs> uh, for the sake of balance, uh, I would like to kick him in the dick uh, <laughs> with a mag boot. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Hoping he has some piercings and I can yank him out. But either way, I'm going to kick him in the deck. <laughs> when in doubt, stick with the classics. That's a mm-hmm. cheap fillings and a mag boot is, is a horrible, horrible <laughs> experience. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, so you're going to kick him and then activate the mag boot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just going to kick him. <laughs> They're just at the right moment. Like, <laughs> okay, that wasn't bad. Um, unarmed. Nine. Okay, you hit him. Uh, go ahead, and, go ahead and roll your damage. Does he have Prince Albert in a can? <laughs> as far as you can tell, no. Okay. Prince Albert connected to my toe. Um, <laughs> five, five damage, and it was a, you rolled a nine. It was an average hit, so there was no there was no effect. Um, okay, great. Uh, Gigi, it is your turn. Okay, so Gigi's, you know, she sees Puffer kick him in the, in the nuts. And she's like, oh, that's what we're going with it now. Yeah. <laughs> we're at DEFCON 2 now, I see. Okay. <laughs> you, hit, you, hit, you, you hit him in the nuts, but he also seemed like the vac suit, like it hurts and does some serious, it does five points of damage, but, but he's still like, oh. 
He's not like doubled over. The back suit gave him a little bit of padding. Doesn't have that oh, extra, extra sting that like a steel toe into, you know, that. Oh, a happen. steel toe. Yeah, so, so he kicked him toe to, to Ned's, not knee to Ned's. <laughs> he kicked him steel toe. Woo, hardcore. <laughs> so, while, so you know what? While he's, he goes, basically it's like, ooh, ooh. Right then, Gigi's waiting as usual. Knee <laughs> to the chin. Okay. So it's like, uh, ooh, like yeah, that. Muay Thai. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and roll. Let's see. I think you could add strength or dex to that roll, whichever you prefer. Oh, nine. Nine, okay, you hit him. Um, no effect, so go ahead and roll your damage. 1d plus your strength. Yes, one. Okay. Seven. So that nice. was to Drax, not to not to Kallus. No, you, it was you, the one that he need in the nads. Okay. Make it a uh, two four. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. so. She just peels his head off. <laughs> yeah, he goes, so uh, Drax goes down. Oh! Oh, nice. He goes oh, like right. so you 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 hit, you hit him in the nuts, and then he he bends he bends over, and Gigi just sl slams a knee up into his faceplate, oh. which cracks a little bit. And he but he, and he's just like rock. He's like knocked unconscious, and he's just kind of like floating there. <laughs> his feet are still connected to the ground, and he's just like floating. I like to quick action to a high five with Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Yeah. We can call that a free action. Yeah, that's a free High fiving. That's um, how we're rolling the Kate's Gambit. <laughs> okay, it, is that, it would be Drax's turn. He's unconscious. Uh, Artemis, it is your turn. Uh, Artemis is going to take uh, her swift action to take off, like slip off her bag boot and hold it in her hand. Yeah. And just tap it on the wall. Still free action, but tap it on the wall and just go. Are you done? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Did they say? It? I mean, did they say? It? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just working kind on of like involved, this. though. I'm <laughs> free action. Why don't you? Can you? The taking off the boot in a vacuum. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah taking off the oh, boots of your spacesuit. All right. Okay. No, I see I what know. you're saying. I figured it was like the clip-on. Max. She just wanted to make a noise against the wall, like to be like, "I have a weapon." You know, like, "Are we done here?" But you know what? She'll just kick the wall. Kick she'll the just wall. like <laughs> tap the wall, That's like awesome. they did when they walked in, and she'll be They'll like, "They'll get the message." Are we done? And he's like. Fuck you. And it's his turn. And oh, he, no. and he Wait, lunges I, at you. That was my swift. I didn't do an action. Uh, Persuasion? No. Do you mean you're, like that's your minor action? Is just that's a, my, is yeah, sorry. That's my minor action. To move right, or to kick right, the wall. Fair enough. Take your okay. significant action. He could say that, but let's say as he runs toward me, I just like put an arm out and I just want to like slam him in the throat if he's trying to like get close to me. <laughs> okay. I thought well, you were going to clothesline him. That's yeah. what I was trying to do. I was yeah. trying to clothesline him. All right, roll the clothesline. <laughs> roll I have the a really high, high skill in clothesline. <laughs> in the background of all of this is um, the sound of dolphins. Apparently yeah, that's right. not. You're hearing, imagine the sound of dolphins. I rolled a, a really strong four. <laughs> okay. You miss. Uh, uh, <laughs> He uh, is his turn, and he comes after you, and he's going to roll to hit roll to hit you, and he roll he hits you. Um, okay, four four points of damage. Hachi machi. So he like you you try to clothesline him, and he he kind of like ducks under and just like lands a <laughs> lands a solid punch into your kidney. Ooh, he and limbos. I can. <laughs> And remind me, because I forget every time, is there an order we take it off of our core characteristics or does it start? Endurance first. Endurance. Endurance first, thank you. Now you could dodge as a reaction. I just roll a, or I just waste my future action then if I take a reaction? You take a, de uh, you, your next action would take a DM minus one. Oh, oh you right. know what? I'll dodge. So you basically, right. it's like you've got to have more effects than him. So you basically have to roll better than he did. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I'll take a dodge. So you're going to inflict a penalty of your dex DM or your athletics dexterity, whichever is higher. Okay. So, so what's your dex modifier? Uh, zero. What's your, would you have, do you have athletics dexterity? Also a zero. Okay. Then no, you can't really dodge. <laughs> oh. So instead, well, I mean, you could, you just inflict, you inflict no penalty. So the other thing you can do is uh, dive uh, for cover. You could have. That one time, when oh, we were right. in a bar fight, yeah. yeah, 
I could have taught it to you. Just okay. Throwing that out. Honestly, I might take a one in athletics because I feel like I could use that. I only have a zero in melee combat, so maybe it'd be good to have a one in athletics. So you know what? Yes. One time, Puffer and I were trading like war stories type thing, and mm -hmm. uh, I was talking about a time, not this time with the scar, but a time I got the shit kicked out of me, which happens often. And he taught me a few moves. We were almost doing Aikido. It was a lot of weight transfer and how to get out of a situation by using your opponent's weight against you. So as he rushes up, I would use my dodge that I learned from Puffer to use his weight against him and like throw him to the side and move out of the way. But there's no oh. gravity. Right, and of course. Just keeps <laughs> But how can you use your opponent's weight against him if he doesn't have any he's weight? Weightless. You know what? I tr I trip him he in zero mass. g. Is that better? <laughs> sure. Or, yeah. You like you, you you do your you do your aikido move and basically just send him sailing past you because I <laughs> he rolled an eight to hit you. I was like any oh. any penalty at all would be enough to dodge. Use um, his weightlessness against him. Yeah, he's too light. He's yeah. too light. Um, so he sails by you uh, and misses. <laughs> it is <laughs> now Philo's turn. Do you continue your performance of <laughs> dolph Dolphinic Trinity? Yeah, I'm gonna hit the chorus, the big, the big show-stopping finish of uh, Dolphin U fight song. Skid and, and I recently sang the Michigan fight song on stage together. We did. Was in that Columbus, San Francisco? Ohio. Oh, it's Columbus. That's right. Oh, that's oh, yeah. Smart move. Yeah, we really history of like really smart moves. I really couldn't believe we were doing it um, at the time. Um, okay, uh, that brings it back to Puffer. Hail to the victor's valiant. <laughs> um, Hail to the conquering heroes. So did Hand the Drax? Did he have a wrench? Drax had a wrench, but he's unconscious. Where's the wrench? The wrench is floating. Oh. oh. In the room. I would like to take the wrench. <laughs> give me an athletics. Give me a deck, either an athletics or a dex check. Let's go. I got it. Ten. Okay. So you see it floating past you, and you kind of limbo your way back. You like Whoa. grab the wrench, and then I'm assuming you bring it down on on his head, on Collis Collis's head. Yes. <laughs> okay. Roll the hit. It's everything but the two hits. I roll really good on. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that, didn't I? I, <laughs> I use strength, right? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't have bonus for strength or dex. Oh, seven. Seven. Okay. You grab. So you grab the. You grab the wrench with such amazing dexterity, and then <laughs> bring it down through empty. Um, <laughs> Gigi, it is I'm your I'm not used turn. to these fact books, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. I... <laughs> oh my god. They had gravity They're in jail. A, a little longer than my fingers, so they kind of have that kind of weird... Yeah, just... <laughs> you, know, it's, you know what's making me laugh here? Do you guys remember that movie? It was like with Liz Hurley and Brendan Fraser, and it was like she was the devil or something, and like she was giving oh, him all of his bedazzled. wishes. What was it? The dazzle. Yeah, the dazzle. Oh yeah. 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 When when Philo is doing this like dolphin song, I'm imagining like, do you remember when Brendan got turned into that really sort of sensitive character, and he started singing like, "You're so much more than a fish to me, my little <laughs> friend <laughs> under the sea." <laughs> 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 In my head. That is the, that is the dolphin you fight song. That is that is it. That's that's a, yes, no one knows like the the origins. It's the, the, the depths of history, but maybe that's it. That was the last song. Okay. The I, dazzle. I love Brendan Fraser. He's great. Okay, so I'm happy that we're in the midst of the Brendan Fraser Renaissance. It's true. It's great. The whale is coming out. Yeah, the one whale. Of my and we're All whaling right. on these guys. It's true, you're really oh. wailing on them. Yeah. yeah. And, and I was going to have those guys stick around for a little longer, but then when you just crushed your dolphin trinary roll, I was like, and the only thing like, let's just is go. run. <laughs> when you hear the dolphin fight song, that is all you can do. That's all you can do. <laughs> That's all you can do. <laughs> Unless you're a dolphin, you can get super pumped up if you're a dolphin. But otherwise, <laughs> that kills me. All right. All right, Gigi, so, what do you want to do? We have Colin still standing, but he just got a wrench in the face. 
Yeah, we have uh, new. Upper mist. Oh, he's, they're both, so Drax and Collins are down, so it's just the three rando dudes. The three rando dudes are gone. Drax is down. Collis is still standing. Okay, yeah, I'm good. just fanning him. Fanning him. Anyway. <laughs> All right, and where is the <laughs> dude? Puffer, where's Artemis? Where's Philo? You're all pretty much all locked close. In, in, in close combat, so you can hit each other. You're like, you're outnumbered, buddy. She's gonna run toward him, and she's gonna run toward him, and she's going to use Philo as like a leapfrog sort of situation if she can't like push off Philo to bo- like bolt toward dude. And she wants to, and this is you have to tell me how I'm gonna do this, but she wants to like jellyfish, like face hugger his face so that the next person has like advantage, almost like blind him. Cause if someone's hugging your face, you like can't see what's going on. Yeah. So she wants to oh. face hugger. Hug, hug his face to like slam your boots against the wall to like pin him. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay, yeah. great. Um, so roll, I'm gonna make you roll athletics. Okay. And then to, to get the move, and then roll to, and then you'll roll again to grab him. Okay. To move. So you like to get the parkour, like the zero G parkour uh, off of Philo. No, that would be five. So that okay, would be yeah. five to move. So oh. you you kind of like want to use the momentum, but you you miss Philo, and you're still but you're you don't fall or anything because you're, you're so you you could still hit, try to punch him if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. I can what? You could try to punch him if you wanted to. Yeah. You know. Let's. You're floating she, because like you she misses. Like maybe she like maybe she overshoots him, but she realizes she overshoots. So while she's flying, she decides to just throw a punch anyway. Right. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Thirteen. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, what happens? Go ahead, <laughs> roll damage, and you get a, a play. <laughs> just roll damage. Basically, okay. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> okay, five, six, seven. <laughs> Plus the effect is enough to, to knock him out. <laughs> you, you basically, you, so you try to do this really cool move and parkour off of Philo, but you miss, so you're just like floating by and then you're just like, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, literally. He's, he's already near the and wall she, and he's just like, boom. She like extends her middle finger just like this, so it's even more like direct <laughs> to his face, just like this. <laughs> yeah, in the old knuckle, knuckle to the, the old face, knuckle. face mask. All right, and then at that mm-hmm. moment, Lieutenant, Sub-Lieutenant Volman and a, and a and like, Five Marines come <laughs> rushing into the room. Oh my god! And they're like, they're like, what? The woman's like, what happened? They started they slipped. it. Slipped. Um, I love dolphins. And then, <laughs> and then Wilkes Wilkes shows up as well, and he's like, what the fuck is going on here? Nothing. Just uh. Just a little confusion. Um, I think Drax, uh, your uh, kitch- kitchen worker, I think he's asleep. <laughs> and then he, Going he, over like, some zero-G procedures, sir. And, the, he, and Wilkes is just kind of staring at you, and he looks over at you, Philo, and he's like, like he, he gives you a face like, can you just tell me what's happening? <laughs> I'm just going to put the wrench right in my tool belt. These men were trying to sell us drugs. And we said, no, absolutely not. And then they attacked us because they thought we worked for the police. I bump, I bump into Philo. I back into him, and bump him with my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> They're high. Mm. The, I mean, we're too high up here in space. So I think they didn't take it well. So Wilkes is kind of like, he isn't, he's like, he feels a little trapped and he's just like, Corporal, uh, put these men in irons, put them in the brig. We don't have time to deal with it. We'll deal with this later. Right, because we got we to gotta shut down the freaking power yeah, plant. They need us. Yeah. They don't need these randos. Yeah. She's um, in my wrench. Okay, so how how's everyone feeling? You got hit kind of hard, Artemis, right? No, yeah. but I dodged it. But you dodged it. Okay, yeah, so you're good. Yeah. Anybody else get hit? Gigi I got, got six nailed. points damage. Yeah, Ooh. Gigi got whacked. Okay. Yeah. So, um, does anyone have first aid? They want to do some quick first aid on Gigi. Um, I have medic. Anyone else? Like or we have medic to like, do first aid. Yeah, blood. I did two, I think. Okay. I got medic one, intellect or education gives me a plus one, so I got plus two. Yeah, you, 
can you roll mean, education. Do you want to you can do it while I'm in the fights. <laughs> yes, that's <Yeah>. what I'm <laughs> I just want to help. Just love dolphins so much. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I have a, okay. Yeah, so may, like you and B- Puffer, maybe you and you are going to get down to engineering anyway. Yeah, yeah. To go, it's kind of take charge. Yeah, I'm a pretty there. good. I'm pretty good at medic. So yeah. okay, twelve. Ahead. Twelve. Um, okay. So you, uh, do, do, do. yeah. So this is going to be, it's going to take one d minutes. So I'll roll for that. Okay. Uh, okay. So it only takes one minute. Nice. Uh, <laughs> but you roll twelve, and I'm going to say this is an average check. So the effect is going to, you're going to, uh, 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 where's my effect? Uh, so yeah, you're going to get, you're going to heal two points. Oh, good. Well, that's better than nothing. I mean, she's still bleeding, and she kind of likes the scar because she thinks it looks cool, and she likes the fact that she now matches Artemis, but just right here, you know. Yeah, that's okay. cool. And then you, when you rest, you'll heal. You'll 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 do some natural healing as well, and then you know you okay. can do more first aid yeah. later. And then also, and endurance you can go will come see, back quick. Yeah, yeah. you can go okay. see the, so. the doc as well one way too. But right now, we've got an emergency to deal with. So, um, okay, Puffer, you're down in engineering, taking charge. Um, GG, you're also down. You're also going to go down to engineering, right? Yes. Okay, great. And then uh, who? I can't remember. Sydney, Artemis, or Philo. One of you was going to stand a watch, right? Yeah. Well, I was going to go. Or you're floating. To, yeah. Okay. The cap. You know what the captain says to you? You're with me. Come along. And she take. And she's like, we're going to mo- we're going to be monitoring monitoring things from the bridge. So she takes you to the bridge, but the bridge is shut down and there's a number of crew stationed there and there's no windows on the bridge, right? So she's just kind of commanding everything from comms, but and the, you know, just, she just wants to be at the con. And then Philo, you're standing a watch at the at the, uh, at one of the ports looking out into the stars. Uh, I, th- I was a re- initially gonna stay in engineering, but I think it makes, I, I, I think we need as many eyes on this phenomenon, trained eyes as we can. So yeah, I would like to be looking out a, a, a window somewhere. Okay, so yeah, you you're basically like you're standing on one of the car doors on let's say you're on deck, uh, let's say you let's say you're up on deck two, right? So you're gonna get a kind of you're looking at kind of on you're on the starboard side, so you're kind of looking up to the right, okay. um, and like all down the corridor, they have like every you know you know, fifty yards or so, there's a, a crew member staring at the, out the port, just kind of keeping a visual watch. Um, because they like, there's no power, right? They can't. They, they right. can't. Yeah, really do we have to else. like see if it visuals on any any approaching ships or whatever. And then, meanwhile, uh, you, Artemis, you're you're with the captain on the bridge, and every she has kept like a skeleton crew at the basic stations, but every it's a, it's just like a dark room, just like it's just like a dark room with no windows. The only lights are like the running lights and it, people's the the the, uh, the glow lights on people's suits, and the captain is just kind of like, he's like, I need, I need regular checks, people, reports. And uh, down in engineering, and this, so Ooh. I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna give you either we can either make this a task chain, or you can just either roll separate checks, uh, mechanic I'm, checks, to see okay. how long this repair is gonna take. Um, Philo, if you instead want to, if actually, I'm sorry, Puffer or Gigi, if you want to roll leadership, you could also do do that. <sighs> Gigi, I, I'm mechanic, but I don't. Oh, have, I have I, admin, admin. Mm. I, 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 that'd be great if we're trying to figure out what the vacation schedule is, but yeah. not for. <laughs> if we're trying to work uh, through the peril, then that would be awesome. I just figured with the commune, do you have any leadership? <laughs> yeah, I like I told anything. you before, Puffer, I have animals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. I love dolphins. <laughs> right, right. Okay. The reason we didn't work out is neither of us are capable of saying what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, no one can assert assert their needs. All right. Um, okay. Go ahead and roll mechanic then. Just give me two, give me two separate checks. Okay. Okay. I also have jackass of all trades, man. Yeah. Well, then you could roll leadership if you wanted to. That's no true. Penalty. That's true. Oh, I could. Yeah. All right. It's a All seven. Right. Seven. Did you add your your social? It's a seven. <laughs> seven and yeah. Puffer, what'd you roll on the mechanic? Ten. Ten. Okay. Ooh. So Puffer, you the two of you get down there and you Lieutenant Damon is there taking charge and you kind of 
you slip in there and you just start like kind of rearranging his uh, you know, his plan a little bit and make things run that much more efficiently. I I re-insulated the wiring on a free trader for an entire week before yeah. I got here. I was born for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I also want to impress on you like the the scope of this task. Like there, you this is a ma- this is a massive warship, and you're basically replacing every single connection to every single power plant wholesale. So um, that said, you come in, and I think with that role, you're able. You you think you probably will complete the work in eight hours, okay. which is pretty remarkable. Given yeah, that, that's like, the, pretty good. Um, it is really good. You're organizing the crew, the engineering crew, Lieutenant, you and Lieutenant Damon. Gigi is Gigi is there. You know, you know, you, you guys were you know you guys have a shorthand too, so you're able to help kind of facilitate okay. things that way. Um, all right, what I'm going to need from you, Philo, is uh, hourly recon checks. Okay. Oh God. Um. So, let's see. The, do let's go go on the fir- that the first hour. Okay, and recon is uh, off, it's off intellect, right? Yeah. Okay, and I don't have recon, so I'm using my Jack OT here. Mm-hmm. Jack OT. Oh, Jack OT. Uh, that's a natural twelve on the dice. Wow. Wow. So wow. that is a eleven. Okay. Um, mm. You get a really good look. Maybe you have a, you even have binoculars, like you can tell you hold them up to your vac suit, the, the plate glass of your vac suit, and you're looking out. Ding. Yeah. Um, you don't see anything. Okay. Can I ask real quick? Did they depressurize the ship in addition to cutting the power? I don't think. No, I don't think so. Because yeah, so we could like have our face plates <laughs> up and stuff, like until like if, uh, if, if, if the air goes out, like we can shut them. And, but, I mean, I suppose, but there, there's no oxygen being pumped in through the vents. Right. Okay. Okay. So it's slowly just turning to carbon dioxide as yeah, everyone right. is breathing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Unless we're vac suited in. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go, your private oxygen. All right, hour two. Roll me a recon. Uh, uh, five. Okay. You don't see anything. <laughs> give me, give me three more. Th- give me. Let's, let's do this in like th- in increments of three. That'll make this go faster. So give me three recon rolls for the next three hours. Okay. Uh, two. Great. See anything? No, don't see anything. <laughs> two. Uh, nine. Don't see oh. anything. Uh, seven. Oh, don't see anything. All right. What am, give, I, what am I doing at the bridge? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you, you want to float. So what are Can you, I they, help him? You want to do recon checks? Yeah. <laughs> so give me, so maybe you like an hour from here forward, you're like, Captain, I'm going to go. I need this. I'm going to go stand a watch for a minute. Yeah. And, I go to a window. I go to a bay. I go to the <laughs> missile bay and I look out my favorite window. Oh, oh bay windows. Very nice. I thought maybe Arturo would be there. Is he there? No, he's an engineer. Mm, okay. I thought maybe he'd meet me, but okay. <laughs> okay, um, you can tell him later. Um, uh, so, all right, give me give me uh, three recon checks in a row, the both of you, for hours six through nine. Okay. No, six through six, six through eight. Oh, eleven. Uh huh. Again. Eight. Okay. Philo. Two. Hold on. Oh. With that eleven, <laughs> with those twos, you keep looking at your watch. <laughs> you're pulling up your phone. I'm just falling asleep. I'm just, I'm just dozing off. You're yeah. You start to get a little. Do- you're starting to get a little drowsy because you've been at this for now six. This is you're about to hit hour seven. Yeah, and okay. it's carbon dioxide sickness. Because <laughs> you're you I'm left so, your face plate up. I've got the bends. <laughs> well, you, you're looking out your window and then you blink and you think you see something moving among the stars okay and then you hold up your binoculars and you see the very distinct globular form of a mercenary cruiser a oh, mercenary cruiser because you've been found oh no and we'll see you next week okay <laughs> oh what is it oh. Oh no! Who could it be? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm oh, torn no, between no. being super excited that it's a ship I remember from yeah. when I was a kid and us, <laughs> us being fucked yeah. as a result. I, we're gonna get blown up. I was guessing it was Drax. You just see, <laughs> you see <laughs> this <laughs> floating by. Drax. All right. Good night, everybody. We threw him out Thank the you. Window. <laughs>